I'm Janice Liedel, Professor of History here at Laurentian University. I was a fan of Star Wars before the movie even came out. A friend of mine got a copy of the novelization of Star Wars and she lent it to me. I read it and fell in love, so I was in the audience for the movie the first week and I've been a fan of Star Wars ever since. For me, what really connected was the adventure and all the excitement, all those things the Jedis are not supposed to crave. But I also really loved the depth of the history, the society, the culture that was shown in the Star Wars galaxy. You get so much there, uh, so much of rebellions and empires and of ordinary lives, that that was what really stuck with me. George Lucas himself, who's really interested, he felt his own historical inspirations were something that should be celebrated, and he thought there'd be a way to make history come alive for a new generation. We covered everything from the form of rebellions and the rise of dictatorship to what civil wars were like in history, the role of women in resistance fightings, um, cities and history. And from that list, George Lucas went over and said these are the chapters that he thought would be most interesting. And then we went across the world and we got all sorts of experts in these areas to contribute to the, uh, the volume with us. George Lucas really felt that history, well, it kind of repeated itself a little bit different every time. And he wanted to say, these are all the ways in which rebellions have happened in history and might remind you of Star Wars or civil wars have occurred and are relevant to uh, your Star Wars interests. My own personal contribution was a chapter on Teen Queens. Um, it began with Cleopatra. Most people don't think about her coming to power as a very young woman. And as she was sort of torn between a military leader and a rising dictator who would eventually bring about her death, um, that became an interesting parallel for Padme. And that was one that George Lucas had in mind. But I turned around and also said, well, there are other ways, not just Padme from the prequel trilogies, but Leia and her role as a powerful woman um, also represent this. And we lo looked at women like Catherine the Great, or um, we looked at Matilda of Canossa, a medieval uh, duchess who ended up bankrolling the Pope in a war against the Holy Roman Emperor. In the classroom, I've always found that understanding some of the pop culture that inspires and, and interests my students will make that history all of a sudden much more relevant. And it's a constantly changing panorama of possibilities with popular culture that, like we see with Star Wars and history, is drawn on our own history and it's now going to be making our new history. So why not weigh in? Why not do that both to interest the students, but also to kind of capture the moment of what this popular culture is doing in our own time. May the 4th be with you.